Welcome back, everybody, to Evernight. Uh, in between episodes, I ended up figuring out this puzzle here. So the diamond blocks that appear here, they need to go into these slots at the edge of the map. Uh, it's a slidey puzzle, so uh, it, it, took, it took a bit of time. Uh, crap. I need to stop holding shit. But anyway, so it, it did take a little bit of time, but really, a really cool puzzle. Then this portal opened up. You're not allowed to skip this part of the dialogue. I see you're the one who's been collecting the gem pieces. Uh, yes. And you seem to have already gotten the rest of them. Impressive. I have. Then that means you may have met my master, the one who created the... The one who created the monument to protect the gem frost. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. And I shall take you out of existence. Please don't. Uh, can we not do this? Oh. oh, boss fight. The alpha? Oh. Owie. Ooh. Aha! I got him. How do I get in there? Ooh. 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 That did a lot of damage. Can I get in there and... Nope, keep running. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa! That was a bit rough. Holy crap. All right. We all know my feelings about bosses. Let's just get through this. Now, am I able to... Am I able to... up there and fight him? Please tell me that did damage to him. Glacial ore is about to be activated. Ooh. Oh wait. That's better. Just one second here. I was trying to figure out why I was. Ooh. Ooh. Owie. 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 That hits for a lot. That hit for a bit much. Owie. 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 Okay. Let's try a different gem this time. Uh, not the emerald. Try the fire gem. Yeah, the fire gem's pretty, pretty wizard. Take that. It did nothing. able to get in there now and oh okay so how do you hmm so how do you get in there how are you supposed to get in there close uh the tornado is also a pretty good one um let me think about this here okay so right now Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it now. I go in there. Hang on, I gotta wait for that order to pass. Oof. Once that aura drops, I'm home free. Yeah, the glacial aura is protecting him right now. Now I can go in there. Or I 
I could not do that. That works too. Not doing damage to him was my second choice. Keep running. Nope, that's not good. Alright, I've got him down to a quarter. understand this fight is I can't seem to do damage to the thing well that, that's most fights I don't get them and I can't end up doing damage to the thing let me just buy the guy here out of his stuff I need to figure this out what's the preferred manner by which to deal damage to this thing you can't go in when Honestly, I thought the cool damagey armor would, like, help against bosses a lot more. Uh, unfortunately, it really doesn't. So I can't go in yet, but I can drop the tornado there. All right. So the glacial order is about to activate, so now I'm on the defensive. Which is fine. He's not, not fun. Yikes. Oh, I can go in now, I think. Oh, nope, I can't. Glacier sure is back up. All right, his glacial aura is down. Oh, just run a second here. Yikes. I don't get it. How am I supposed to hurt him? I don't get how you're supposed to hurt him. Like, you, you can't get in close because the Guardian's there. Tell you what, I'm gonna figure I'm gonna figure this out. The secret to winning was a little bit of creative mode. Wink. Uh, okay, where are we going now? Uh, let's go up again. Pretty. Cool. Ember 
retreat. Look at all the cool stuff we got here. I love this music right now. Yeah, the rest of it I don't really need. Digging the music right now. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's let the episode go a little bit longer. You know what? If, you know what if we beat the map today? How about that? What if we, what if we beat the map today? But first, let's go, let's go talk to our friend, the black market trader. See what he's got for us. Anything good? Uh, eh, eh, eh. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Come back. There we go. I really don't have any room to dump stuff, neither. That's fine. So, a uh, couple theories about what's going to happen next. A lot of characters have been like, yo, don't trust the chief. Chief's bad news. Uh, dump. Just need to dump off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's all good. That's all good. Onto that, hold on to that, dump that, dump that, don't care. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, let's go talk to the chief. You know, a lot of characters have been like, yo, chief's bad news. Probably shouldn't trust them. So if this guy turns out evil, uh, I'm not, I won't be surprised. Oh, you're finally back. Oh, wait. This isn't the... Yeah, where is the chief? Uh, he wanted me to stay here and tell you that he went to the mainland? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're not from this dimension, so you don't know. Basically, the village we're in right now is located on a small island. Okay, the chief is waiting for you in the western uh, village on the mainland. He believes that you will survive like you always did. Uh, therefore, he's probably planning to meet you at the Stereo Village and take you to the Gem Altar, since it's also located on the mainland. I'm not sure if six gems will be enough, since the Chief said that no one knows where the Divine Diamond is. Wait, you have the, the Diamond? Does the Chief know that already? Hmm, weird. Um, if you never told him about it, why is he taking you there now? Take you to the mainland. Interesting. He doesn't know that I have the Divine Diamond. Hmm. They told me not to trust the Chief. A lot of characters told me not to trust the Chief. So, what's the Chief's endgame here? Maybe we aren't finishing this this episode. You gotta go talk to Captain Crunch over here and we'll figure this out, I'm sure. Oh, heck off. Heck off! All right. I wonder if there's a particular order you had to do these in. Captain? The village, please. We'll end chapter one? What? Um. Oh, goodness gracious. That was not at all graceful. Uh, once more. Much better. Okay. Um, I hope I can... Okay, I can, I can get back. I can get back in case I need food, items, uh, whatever. Oh! Whoa. The vendor is asked to take the chief's place so that someone could inform the adventurer of where he has gone. After learning the chief's whereabouts, the adventurer decided to head to the western village located on the mainland. Despite knowing the purpose of going to the mainland is to return the gems to the gem altar, the details remain unknown. Whoa. Look at 
that. Oh my gosh. That's a breathtaking view. Oh, that's what I was saying. Before the death of the witch, she seemed to know something we do not. The intention of the chief going to the mainland to return the gems despite not knowing the diamond has already been retrieved is still unclear as well. After retrieving all the gems, uh, lots of mysteries are left to unfold. Another new adventure. On a bigger land? Everything is not what it seems. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this play. Wow, that's how you end a map. Holy crap. This is the end of the map. I hope you enjoyed the torment. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Torment was, torment is uh, certainly one way of putting it. Let's see here. Overall rank, a D. Wow. That's cool. You can see my ranking on everything. That's really cool. Gallery of randomness. Hidden Tesla Tower defense turret. Huh. Harder ice puzzles. Since inspector, connect the color puzzles. Wow, look at all this stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wow, okay. There's a lot to unpack here. Um, I'm going to take off this armor and stuff. Oh, that's so much better. You know what? Throw on the black opal. I'm maximum speed. Okay. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Thank you for playing the map. Okay. There's a lot to unpack in this map, and, you know, I've said a lot, you know, over the course of this playthrough. This has been a very long playthrough. I don't even remember when I did the first episode. It seems so long ago. But, um, overall, the, the map is absolutely stunning. This is, a, this is a beautiful map. There is a lot of care, a lot of love put into this map. This is some of the most advanced... This is some of the most advanced uh, uh, redstoning scripting uh, I have ever I have ever seen. Uh, it was it was absolutely absolutely stunning. Uh, I will fight anybody in the comment section who does not think that this map is 
beautiful. Uh, the builds are incredible. The puzzles, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, the mechanics, it all meshes together so well. It is a very, very good map. A very, very good. I, you're, this is borderline a perfect map. You know, um, if I were to give this a score, I'm giving this like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. This is, this is as close to a perfect adventure map as I have ever played. The only thing holding it back, as I have said, is th uh, the bosses are just a bit too hard. I get what they were going for. They don't want something that you can just beat into submission. And I totally respect that. But at the same time, I don't want to be beat into submission. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, it's it's very hard to put my words into thought. Uh, it's very hard for me to put my thoughts into words here. You know, I recognize I'm going up against God here, and I don't expect to be able to just go toe to toe with God and win, or go to toe to God with a, a godlike entity and win. But at the same time, it's. I, you get chunked too hard in the bosses, or some of the attacks seem very hard to... I get that there's... I get that there's... Uh, 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 what's the word they used for it? There's indicators for what attacks are going to be, but you die... But I, I died too quickly to ever learn what those indicators were, and it, and it becomes frustrating. I'm a stubborn asshole, and I'm going to get through. But the bosses were just too hard. I was always on the back foot the entire, the entire fights... And most of them I had to switch to creative mode just to get through the maps. But the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, the, the builds, the script, the story are absolutely fantastic. I am super excited for part two. And this team has made something really, really special. The bosses just need to be turned down from a solid 12 to like a 10 on, on the difficulty scale. I will be playing part two of this when it comes back, and I will be giving honest thoughts, honest opinions, and I'm actually looking forward to part two. I'm curious how the, what the story is going to do, and I'm super excited. I'm super excited to see how this all how this all unfolds, because um, what I played here is damn near perfect. Again, the the landscape ten out of ten, the puzzles ten out of ten, the interactions, the mechanics, the script, the stories. The 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 uh, the scripting, the redstones, the effects, everything. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. The effects. Dear God, eleven out of ten. Can't rate rake it really much higher though than a eight point five because the bosses, the mechanics that they introduced are incredible, and the multi stages of the bosses, oh, perfection. You know what? Screw. It. I'll give I'll give this a nine out of ten. Very close to perfection, but the bosses are just what's presenting it but again the bosses were only 24 minutes of my total game time in this and i had a lot of game time in it i did a lot of grinding in this map uh so you know i think a 9 out of 10 is a very fair rating for this map uh i suppose there's all kinds of music links here Ooh, ooh. i am definitely going to be checking out some of these later but uh that's all she wrote the map is done. On to the next. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Gonna need to do some coping. Just a little, little bit more coping. A lot of, a lot of bit of, a lot of bit of coping. <laughs>